So today we're going to do two experiments. One is the capillary action experiment, and the other is making a uh, plant <laughs> sip. Um, so for the capillary action, we are going to need two paper cups, or any two cups, and a piece of paper towel rolled up. I'll be good. And folded it half in the little middle. And for the... Oh my gosh, where's the gel? For the... Um, for this um, plant sip, we're going to need a bottle cut in half, three soil pellets, a half cup, um, pencils, and a marker, and three three seeds. seeds. And in this case, we're and just using seeds. pea seeds. Just seeds. Um, and then also, so let's start with the capillary action experiment because that's going to take a little longer. Fold it up like a bit more than three quarters. So fill it up a bit more than three quarters. And then add like three drops of food coloring, but we have food gel. So it's going to turn out a little bit different, but it still add perfect it's color, color as you see. I'm losing red because it's a very dark, bright color. Okay, so now we're going to take our little paper towel and we're going to stick it in like this and then put it in the other cup to make it go. And then move it aside. And move it aside so, so we can do our others. <laughs> so first we're going to take our paper and bake enough our, um, um, well, our cloth, cloth and make a knot, knot almost right in, in the middle and then you're going to take this cup not too tight um with the hole in it and you're going to put it right in here in the hole push down and push up same time so that it so that the water doesn't leak out from the bottom part, I mean from the top part. And then also we want to, when we're done, we're going to put that back on the top. So just in case in our next part, no water leaks out on top. Okay, so, so now we're going to take our three pellets and then put them in. And then we have to... And if you have a bigger cup, you put it like six in. Um, mm -hmm. Six half. Six pellets, and then you're going to fill up a half cup of water. Okay. Two and times. To, two times, and you're going to pour it on the pellets, and that's going to make And then they're soil. growing, as you see. They're growing. And you're going to just pour it in, and then you want to pat it out a little bit. Like, like make it all straight. Street. Like don't like push it because it's gonna take harder for one of those seeds to go in. Okay, now you're going to make three holes with your hands up, up, up to um your um the first line. Here. and then you're gonna take some seeds. In this, if you have big seeds like pea seeds, and we have pea seeds, you're gonna put one in each hole. If you have like tiny seeds, like tomato seeds, you're going to take a pinch of the of each of a few seeds and then sprinkle it into one hole. Okay, now you're going to cover them. Don't press it down because you want it to be easy for them to sprout out of the soil, soil so you, they don't have any difficulty, um, and it would be easier and they could come out faster. Now we're going to add water to the bottom part. Just like in our capillary action experiment, the water is going to go upwards and feed our plates. Fit above that line that's showing. Okay. Okay. So now we're going, and you can put in two. So now we are going to take our stick, and on one side you're going to write 
the name, the plant you're planting, your name, the date, your class, your partner's name, and their class on the other side. And then you're going to stick that in on the right in the corner where the seeds aren't planted because you want you don't want them to grow on there. So here we have our indoor planting lesson plans. And it's from kindergarten to eighth grade. And then we have the materials, the aim, and the objective. And then we have our garden, three for each grade. So for pre-K, we have a five senses garden. For kindergarten, we have a pizza garden. Um, for first grade, we have a Caribbean garden. For second grade, we have a colonial kitchen garden. And for third grade, we have a salsa garden. For fourth grade, we have a three sisters garden. For fifth grade, we have a healthy snack garden. For sixth grade, we have a salsa garden. For seventh grade, we have plant structure garden. And for eighth grade, we have pollinating garden. And also over here, we have our Green stone caring tips. So you always have to give your plants water. Always give them water only from the bottom part, never from the top. If the top looks dry, just give it a little water from the bottom because the, the cloth would take it all the way up to the soil and give it the water that it needs. Two, give your plants light. If, you're, if you don't have enough light, please contact our school's green zone and they will give you a, a um, light, green light, a grow light, I mean. And that one is light that's almost like the sunlight and it will help your plants grow. Also, give your plants lots of love. So you can designate two students to t care for your plants. And make and make sure that um one time before Friday, before Friday to make sure if there's enough water in the bottom part. And on Monday when you come back from the weekend, they come back from the weekend if there's enough water there. Okay. Also we have a mini um version of this on our last page, which is this week's same thing. If you have any questions, okay, now let's look back at our capillary action experiment. So As the you water see, the water traveled first, and you can feel it a little bit in here. Um, you see it. You see, feel the water. And then you can see that the food coloring is just traveling um, along, with, along the with the water, but a little slower, so soon we'll have a little color in there. And if you have any questions, Please don't be afraid to contact Anita Gossip Bots in our mall at Danita and Y at AOL.com. Danita and Y at AOL.com. And if you need if you have more questions for me and her, then go to Miss Navio's classroom and ask for Emma Bodson. And if you want and also, go to Miss Cobra's classroom and ask for Anna Bodden. See you next time.